Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video We're going to be trying to get some wins with either Toon Spike or the brand new Colette skin Depending on how the draft goes, but you can see by our progress so far We've been doing pretty good on stream. We finished 10 and 3. We pretty much won every single game this season I don't think we've really gotten any bad times, but we've just not played too much this season So hopefully we can start making more progress, especially towards Masters Seeing as only 20 people have reached it this season Hopefully we can be one of them pretty soon. So of course before we buy anything in the shop Make sure you use the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated and without further ado Let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first game then. So we have open zone, hot zone. Oh, I thought it's the Great Divide. Why do I never look at the name? A Bambezi, which isn't really the most OP first pick on this map, but we'll see how it goes. So in terms of what kind of trends I've been seeing in Power League the last week, we've been seeing Pearl on the uprise like crazy. We've seen Amber on the uprise like crazy. I hate to say I told you guys, but I told you guys. I told you guys with the buffs. Pearl was an S tier brawler. I told you Amber was A tier. I think she's actually S tier right now. These brawlers are insane in the meta. The same with Leon as well. The same happened with Bo. I don't know. I just feel like we're really in tune with buffs and nerfs at the moment and what they do. So in terms of kit as well, we didn't even see a kit at all in our Power League stream. I've not seen kit at all in ladder. I don't know if people are just scared to go it or it's just honestly bad. Might try it. I forget the a chance. So Reckless has gone max again. Last time they went max kind of destroyed us so in terms of what we can pick i'm thinking toon spike let's try and get a win with toon spike today i think that is the plan do we go damage or do we go shield that is the question i think we go shield because we're so squishy let's go toon spike shield let's see if we can get a dub with toon spike i'm yet to play it on power league i played it a few times before i went away when it was released and i've not touched it since so be interesting in terms of that composition i'm not really too scared of it i mean charlie and still really good on this map but we have a leon should be able to pop off against this i'm kind of scared of the nanny i'm not too sure people go nanny why they go nanny anymore i mean on bounty or knockout yes but it's just not the same anymore all right toon spike I think the skin should give us some type of buff, right? Normally when the skin is that good, it just hits different. And hitting different, it is at the moment. So let's try and sneak in on this Charlie. Got a gadget down there to tank a little bit. Ah, uh, Charlie's so weak. We'll probably get this two down. Nice. And look at that effect. Oh, the double kill right there. It's just beautiful to see it. But we need to heal up to get... Okay. This Max is just not allowing us to heal up whatsoever. Danny's going to clip the Stu as well. But let's get that shield gear regen. There we go. Beautiful. It's probably Max lurking here pretty soon. This Max is like the most aggro Max I think I've ever seen in my life. Look, watch. We'll just have no regard to the life and just push up consistently. But we need to get these guys off the zone. So we're just going to keep spamming shots in the middle. Hopefully it does something. There we go. Max is going to go down. That's going to be Stu down as well. My teammates actually playing this pretty well. But they're slowly kind of racking up the percentages, so we've got to be careful. Okay, Max is just going to run in here. We need to keep Nani away from the Max, because there's just no way Nani's going to hit consistent shots onto her. We've got a hypercharge of our own in a second, but let's go running in. Gadget to tank anything if needed. Come on, Stu's weak. Let's get him. Nice, nice double kill. But again, Max is going to run up with the pressure. Any second now. Oh, this Nani is tapping! This nanny is tapping. We can pop a hype charge super. It's going to delay them like crazy. Charlie's going to get the shot off, but that's not going to matter too much. And Charlie's dead. Lovely. You love to see it. Max is probably going to come out of, it out of nowhere. Right, there we go. I mean, Max is always can be a problem, especially if they're really good and aggressive and making a space. And they're making it happen, but I just simply think Max just isn't that great. If you can, of course, shut it down enough times, it's going to be okay. And I think they only got like one, maybe two max speeds in the game. That's not really going to make a big difference, is it? Right, I feel like such an NPC guy on it spike though. Like it's such an open map. Typically you want to go spike on a bit more of a closed map. But it doesn't matter. At least we've got good matchups against Stu, Charlie. We're vibing right now. And of course, look at this pin and spray combination. It's just beautiful. Right, let's just try and get into auto aim range because that is where I'm dealing the most damage with spike. Beautiful. Charlie's one shot. We're going to get the kill there. Oh, Nanny with a TP as well. Bit risky, but I rate it. I'm just going to throw a super here. Max with his speed. 
I can't go from that way, so I may as well keep shooting this way. Damn it, I hate it when someone shoots me once and it stops my shield. There we go, we can get that going again. Charlie's weak here. Let's see if we can get the nanny out of the cocoon. I think once nanny gets out, they're dead anyway. It's just... It's pretty much a guarantee at this point. But they've got a lot of percentage, so we kind of need to focus up here. Try and close some back of our own. Let's throw super onto Charlie. We should be able to confirm the kill there. Good kill from the nanny, but still, they're just racking. The percentage is up. Stu's going to go down here, but we really just need to sit in the zone for as much as possible now. I'm going to pop my hypercharge here just to give me a little bit of extra life. I know I haven't got my super, and that, that was a terrible hypercharge, but... I felt like we needed to kind of break away from that there. Because that could have been game-changing. If we all went down there, they would have literally won the game. All right, let's wait for this max speed to go. So we can get our shield gear going again. Charlie Force snipes us from across the map. What you love to see. Max is still on the zone. Let's throw our super onto the Charlie here. That should be Charlie pretty much dead. Once one kill with Stu, please. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, my adapter just flew off the table there. That was not what I needed because it <laughs> it nearly just chucks my iPad out, out of my hands. Right, Charlie's dead again. Lovely. Love to see it. Leon hypercharge. That should be the kill onto Stu. And that should be game. That should be game. Only a little bit of percentage left for the opponents to cling on to. Come on, I just need one shot to my hypercharge. Someone give me it, please. Hypercharge and super active. There we go. That should be the win. No way these guys are going to be able to kill me in time. And that is a beautiful win. That was pretty self-explanatory. I didn't really do too much. I just spammed things like a spike. I didn't die a single time. What are those stats? What? I mean, I felt like we dominated in kills. But I, we didn't even dominate in percentage, to be honest. But 0 and 8, 0 and 8... That is some of the wildest stats I've seen in a long time. But that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, jumping into the second game then. We have Bell's Rock Shock. I feel like every time I click on a video, we either have Bounty Shooting Star or Knockout Bell's Rock in particular. So in terms of this map then, the new brothers that I've kind of figured out, I was literally about to say Rico. Miko's always been good. Egor is a good last pick as well. And then just a standard when it comes down to this map. So we've got the choice of Nanny or Piper here, which I'm very surprised about. But we get Nanny. I think Nanny is just a bit better than Piper, to be honest, because, of course, Nanny counters Piper. But, again, if they don't pick Piper, we can get Nanny Piper, which is so dangerous. Um, so they better pick it. They go with a bow. In terms of other brawlers, I'm starting to see Rise in the meta as well. Not yet to face a Janet yet, but I'm seeing a lot more Janet. Like, in terms of... When I'm watching other Power League lobbies, I just don't get it in mine. So that's one thing I've realized as well. Like uh, on this map in particular, I've seen a bit of Janet. Let's see who else. They go a Leon of Shock. Very surprised to see a Leon. I've just seen him in every single game. It's kind of ridiculous how strong he is right now. In terms of what we can pick, hmm. Against a Leon, Sprout is meh. I wouldn't really go Sprout myself. If we go Sprout, I need to think of something else that is good against Leon. I mean, we could go Piper still. Could go... Nah, Jean wouldn't be that great. I mean, Mr. P is actually pretty good against Leon, but we can't really go it with our comp at the moment. We could go RT. We could go Grey ourselves here. I'm thinking Piper, though. I'm thinking Piper. I know it might be quite dangerous, but we can go not back as well if needed. I think I'm going to go to Piper. We've got Nanny and Piper down the lane. Sprout in the middle. We should be good to go. I don't know who they can go as the last bit counter. If, they could, if they're quite clever, hmm. Who would I go if I was them? Um, probably Meg. I think Meg would be the best option. Or Kit. I think Kit would be really good for them. But they go with Grey. So instead, I'm going to turn that all the way back to a homemade recipe. Uh, do I need... F nah, I don't think I need... I think I'll go with this build. Just because it's probably harder to get gadgets off on Bell's Rock in comparison to, like, out in the open. Uh, so, yeah. That's why we're going for this build. So, matchups. Hmm. I guess we just... we got to take the grey. Or we just got to take... Make sure the grey doesn't get on our sprout and we should be good to go. So, maybe I'll use an early gadget to make sure we don't get in position. Let's see what we have to do here. Uh, we got, we're against Bo. So Bo should be a free matchup for us, to be honest. I know I'll say that now. I probably will get wrecked, but... It's pretty easy. I mean, pff, that Grey just got destroyed. 
actually destroyed. But now our job here is just to not feed the Leon Vice. That couldn't have gone any better, if I say so myself. Beautiful. I kind of want to destroy this wall right here just because I don't want Grey pushing up. I know it might seem dumb because we have a Sprout on our team, but trust me, you do not want Leon or Grey pushing up behind that wall. So we'll just open it up. And we should be good to go. I mean, Leon can dodge these guys in the open anyway. Did I say Leon or I mean Sprout? But nice. Sprout's pushing up already. Good kill on the bow. Beautiful. You love to see it. My teammates are tapping like crazy here. We've got a Nanny Peep coming in as well. And that was just so easy. How was... That is... E like, what? Is this legendary too? I had the same on my streams. Am I just behind the curve that much where I'm getting put in bot lobbies? I just seriously... I don't understand it. I don't know how it's so quick. Also, like, Bow is a good pick, by the way, and I did put him in the top 10s, but I think he'll be creeping down a meta. I don't think he's a brawler which you can just go everywhere all the time. I think he's more of a brawly pick towards the end of draft where you're unsure on what to go because there's still just so many good picks. Can't waste an early pick on Bow. But I guess it didn't really matter because we've still got Gray and Leon anyways, who are some of the best picks on this map. Let's pop a gadget here. We're able to get the bow. We should be able to get the Leon down as well. I don't know what these guys are seriously doing. Like, it's actually concerning. It, 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 I want a good game. And it's just... What is this? Like... I, this is legendary too. It, it feels like I'm playing Mythic on my other account. These guys are going through the wars today. That wasn't... What? How is Bo dead again? I just don't understand this. I seriously don't, but I mean, we don't want to get too complacent, but it doesn't even matter at the same time. We're just going to destroy the Grey. And Leon is just going to do Leon things. Has he even got a super yet? I'm just... I'm appalled by the gameplay I've seen today on the channel. I apologize, guys, but I can't... I can't stop these bad randoms. I'm just glad they're not on my team. We'll, we'll take these three wins. Three and oh... Like, what is it? Is the whole enemy team didn't even get a kill. Zero and four, zero and four, zero and four. This is the biggest disaster class I think I've ever seen, ever, ever, when I've done a video. But <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll take the free elo all day long, all day long. But we actually get nice. We get the brand new Colette skin. I guess we'll do that in tomorrow's video if you guys want to see me go Colette anywhere. But I get every single one. I actually get the first player title as well. Love to see it. And we get a legendary star drop. So, just a treat for you guys. Let's see. Amazing. I don't think I've ever got anything good on my main account. I've got everything, so I can't really complain. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.